Hi guys, happy Friday, thanks for joining. Let's start standing up. We'll stand up nice and tall on our mats with our feet a little bit wider apart than our shoulders. Let's just take a few quiet breaths here as we soften up our knees and sink those tailbones and those sit bones down to the mat. Couple breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as we settle those sit bones down toward the floor, let's think about what we wanna to accomplish today. We wanna to roll our shoulders back and down, work a little posture. What we wanna think about here is leaving class feeling a little bit more elongated, maybe a little more energized than we started class. Even if your muscles are a little tired, I want you to try to focus on feeling a little more awake and alive after we finish our workout today. If at any point, anything we do during the class doesn't feel good for you and there hasn't been a modification given that feels appropriate, absolutely stop and find something else to do for that brief period of time. Nice thing about this class is we don't do anything for a super far extended period of time. So you should um, be able to find something temporary to uh, be a little bit different and get, feel free to uh, drop me a line, Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L at agilept.com if you have any additional questions after class. All right, let's drop those sit bones down even a little closer to the floor. So we're in a little mini squat here. We're gonna draw the belly and spine gently toward each other, supporting that pelvis and supporting that trunk. Let's take a big breath in, reach those arms up and overhead and keeping those hands and arms up in a Y shape, fingertips pointing toward the ceiling. Let's take some side bends up and over to each side. We're moving right above that belly button, taking that finger on each hand, taking them all the way up to the corner where the wall and ceiling meet. One more time over to the other side. Let's re reach those fingertips up nice and tall. We'll clasp our palms now and press them up to the ceiling and drop those shoulder blades down to the floor. Let's straighten out our knees. We're gonna squeeze our blades back and press the backs of the hands toward that back wall as we bring our arms out to shoulder height. Let's drop the shoulders away from our ears and we're gonna rotate those fingers and those shoulders in little tiny circles. We're moving those arms back to the wall behind us. Here's four, three, two, and one. Take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we'll circle those hands, moving from those shoulder joints, take them forward for four, for three, for two, and for one, arms come down by our sides. Let's now take our feet in a little bit, line them up with our sit bones. We're gonna get our weight centered right over the front of those ankle joints. Let's take our hands to our midsection and shift the weight toward the toes and toward the heels. As we press our fingers and our heels of our hands into our bellies, we should feel some muscles kicking through the core just to keep us nice and upright versus gravity as we find those end ranges of our base in front and in back. Shifting the weight back over the ankle joints, we can soften the knees again, and let's shift our weight side to side, pushing the floor away with each foot as we transfer to the other side. Keep that weight shift going. We'll move our fingertips around to our waistline. Fingertips in front, thumbs in back as we push the floor away with our feet and moving from side to side. And now we can rotate in little circles around that base of support. Fingertips and thumbs are pressing in toward each other, and you should feel that waistline turning on and turning off kind of tightening underneath those fingertips. We'll circle the other way, just a couple more here. Here's four, here's three, here's two. Final one, we shift the weight forward toward the toes. We're gonna hover those heels up slightly off the floor. Let's hold it there and then maybe we come up onto our toes a little farther. Go through a range that's working for you, a range that you can control. Let's take those arms up to the ceiling. Big breath in as those fingertips reach up. As we exhale, we'll keep our weight forward toward the toes as we lower our heels down to the mat. And then finally, we'll shift our weight over the middle point of that ankle as we bring our arms down. Let's make a quarter turn. So we're facing lengthwise on our mat now, and we're gonna back ourselves up toward the back edge of that mat. Feet will now be shoulder width apart. It's a little wider than those hips. We're gonna take our hands right to the fold in the hips, keeping that belly and spine engaged and drawn in toward each other. We're gonna tip the body forward, so we feel that first bit of resistance behind our thighs. And we're gonna hold it there. Hold, maybe we lift our toes up, letting those arches lift up slightly off the floor. Okay, we should feel a nice little opening, nice little stretch from the back of the knee all the way up to those glutes. Hold here, drop those toes to the floor, and then maybe we wiggle, straightening and bending those knees just a touch, letting those connective tissues glide and slide as our tailbone comes up and down a fraction of an inch in each direction. Let's pause with a little softness in those knees. We're gonna take our hands and drop them down toward the floor. Soften them up, wiggle them out. Picture an elephant moving its trunk. 
guiding it with those shoulder blades. Quiet down those arms and we're gonna row. We're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades, taking our elbows up to our sides. Trunk stays nice and still. And then let's extend the elbows, bringing those fingers to the floor. Squeeze and row, release. Squeeze and row and release. Repeat, here's four. Here's three. You could always shift your weight back a little closer to the heels if your knees are starting to get tired. We're gonna hold those elbows bent. Let's move to a triceps press. We'll straighten and bend the elbows. Extend those elbows, reaching those fingertips back behind the body and then bend the elbows till those forearms hang perpendicular to the floor. Triceps press for four, for three, for two, and for one. Take a big breath in here. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring our hands down toward the floor. Bend those knees as much as you need to to get those hands down. And we're gonna walk ourselves forward toward the front of the mat. Maybe we make our way toward a little bit of an inverted V. Let's hold it here. Take a big breath in, lining up those elbows and ears. And let's bend the knees as much as you need to to drop those heels toward the floor. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, draw that belly in. We're gonna shift our weight forward over the hands, moving ourselves toward a plank position or a plank position with those knees on the floor. Another option here would be to move right to hands and knees, doubling that mat over to give your shins a little bit of padding. Wherever we are here on all fours, in that plank on the knee or in that full plank position, we're gonna shift our weight side to side toward the screen and away, toward the screen and away. Let's keep taking it side to side. Here's four, here's three, here's two, and here's one. Shifting right back over those hands. We're going to bend our knees, take them down to the floor. Again, pat them up a little bit if you need to with extra cushioning from the mat. Let's move to cats and cows. We're going to curl that belly toward the ceiling and then reverse, sending the tailbone to the ceiling, breastbone forward. Curl to cat, reverse to cow. One more time here, curl to cat, reverse it to cow. We'll come right to neutral. Let's wag our tail side to side, keeping those shoulders square, moving the hips toward one shoulder and then toward the other. Little side bend. Let's pause with that hip closest to the screen in a side bend position. We're gonna cross the opposite foot over, grab onto it if you can, if you're comfortable supporting your weight on that other hand. And we're gonna give that foot a gentle pull in toward our side. That'll open up the waistline on the other side. Let's take a big breath in. Exhaling, we'll unwind. Bring that other hip toward the other shoulder. Looking over that shoulder, we can cross our foot over. Again, we can hold on to those toes, pull them gently toward our shoulder on that side. Feel that waistline open up toward the, the screen. Let's come back to all fours, hold right here. Draw that belly in again. Our feet come together, our knees come apart. Let's lower that bottom down toward the heels. And think about walking the hands toward the front of the mat. Elbows could be bent to take some pressure off those shoulders and underarm muscles, or the elbows could be straight if you'd like to focus on getting a little more length, a little more opening under those armpits. Regardless, we drop that forehead toward the floor for a big breath in. As we exhale, let's wiggle those armpits toward the floor. We'll take one down and then bring it up as we rotate and take the other one down. Let's wiggle alternating them side to side. You feel a nice stretch through the side of the trunk on the side of that armpit that's pressing deeply into the floor. Wiggle them side to side, here's four, three, two, and one. Take it right back to the middle. Drop those forearms to the mat if they've been lifted. We're gonna shift our weight forward, take those legs back behind the body, and we'll take a big breath here with those thighs resting on the floor before we lower our bodies down to the mat and roll to our backs. Once we're here, we're gonna line up those feet with our sit bones. Heels are lined up with the sit bones. Knees are pointing up on a slight diagonal toward where the wall and ceiling meet in front of us. Let's breathe it in. And as we exhale, we're gonna nod that chin toward the neck, drop our breastbone down to the floor and take that belly and lower it toward the spine as if we're tightening, tightening a seatbelt of muscles right between those hip bones that are pointed directly up to the ceiling. Let's rock through our pelvic clock. We're gonna picture 12 o'clock by the breastbone, six by that pubic bone, three o'clock on the hip closest to the screen, nine o'clock on the hip opposite to it. Let's rock toward 12 o'clock, shortening the pubic bone toward that breastbone. Let's lengthen toward six. Let's move through at your own pace, keeping that chin knotted and that middle back between those shoulder blades firmly pressed into the floor as we try to focus that motion through the pelvis. Curl to 12 and lengthen to six. We'll come right back to neutral 
And let's now take that pelvis from three to nine with those hands pressed into the floor, that hip closest to the screen is gonna rock toward the floor as the opposite hip comes up toward the ceiling. Belly button rotates slightly toward our screen, three o'clock. Let's roll through to the other side, hip bone closest to the street. The screen extends up to the ceiling while the other hip comes down, nine o'clock. Roll to three and roll to nine. Let's move through at our own paces. Feel how you have to press your feet a little bit unevenly into that mat to keep those thighs nice and level and to avoid having them follow that pelvis along for the ride. One more time to nine o'clock. Take it back to neutral, big breath in again. And as we exhale, we're gonna float those arms up to the ceiling. Again, we nod that chin toward the neck. And as those hands reach up, I want you to think about keeping your collarbones widened away from the middle of the body. Keeps us from shrugging a lot. We're gonna wrap those shoulder blades forward toward the ceiling, bringing those fingertips up toward the light fixtures. And then we're gonna lower those blades down to the floor. Elbows stay nice and still. They're going along for the ride. Inhale, reach those fingertips and shoulder blades up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower and control them down. Let's proceed. We're gonna move through here at our own paces. If you wanna make this more challenging as we take those blades up and down, keeping that belly drawn in, we can lift one knee up to 90 degrees. We could even lift the other leg up to a tabletop position. Shins are parallel to the ceiling. Here's three, here's two, and here's one. We're gonna lower those blades to the floor. Let's arc those arms forward and turn the palms down toward the mat. Those fingertips are gonna be reaching long in front of us. If this is a challenging position for you and that belly really doesn't wanna to stay toward your spine, feel free to place a kickstand foot down on the mat. Otherwise, we keep ourselves right here in that tabletop position and maybe think about extending those knees to take our feet toward the ceiling. We wanna keep that tailbone and that low back in the same position they are when we start as when we straighten those legs. Maybe we nod the chin, maybe we curl that upper body up slightly off the mat, the shoulder blades stay down. We're gonna pat our hands up and down like we're tiny, bouncing little tiny basketballs, whether those feet are extended toward the ceiling, bent to tabletop, or whether we have some kickstands on the floor. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. One more time, breathe it out. Let's keep our same position. This time we're gonna press the air to the ceiling, palms face up, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Twice more, breathe it out. Inhale, two, three, four, five, last exhale. Pause, we're gonna turn those palms in to face the center of the body. The knees are gonna to come to 90-90 tabletop position from wherever they've been. Let's lower that upper body down if it's been lifted. And again, we're gonna float those arms up to the ceiling and drop those blades down to the floor. Let's check that navel, ensure that it's drawn gently down toward the spine. And let's open up that arm closest to the screen out to the side, touching the back of that hand to the mat, opening up through that chest wall. Inhale it to the ceiling, exhale and switch. We're gonna rock through alternating side to side. If you do need a kickstand, feel free to place one foot down on the mat. Inhale, lift, exhale out to the side. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale that opposite arm down to the side. We're gonna leave it there if we can. Let's take both feet down to the mat and hold them there as we open that opposite arm out. Those arms are gonna be out on a T as best we can. You will feel a bit of a stretch or maybe more than a bit of a stretch between that breastbone and the front of the shoulders through those pectoral muscles. We're gonna hold that position there. If this doesn't feel great to you, you are welcome to have those hands hovered up off the floor. I want you to look over one shoulder and then look over the other shoulder. Feel how as your head moves, you're able to stretch through those arms a little bit further, even if those hands are hovered up off the floor. Let's look back to the center. We'll nod that chin toward the neck again and we're gonna bring our arms down by our sides. With that belly drawn in, we draw that far knee, the knee farthest from the screen into the chest, hold it right there, and let's slide that leg closest to the screen out along the mat. Tighten up the front of that thigh. We're gonna keep that knee pressed into the floor now. With the belly drawn down and those elbows nice and soft, we keep that knee pulled into the chest as we hover the other leg up off the mat. Let's take that leg side to side. Try to move as best you can out of that hip joint, keeping the rest of the body nice and still. Side to side with that leg. All right, stretch it back to the middle, big breath in. 
And as we exhale, switch it up. Opposite knee pulls in, we slide that other leg nice and straight, tightening up through the quad, pressing the back of that knee into the floor. Soften up those elbows as we hold onto that bent knee shin. And with that belly drawn down, we'll lift that other leg up off the mat and take it side to side. Keep those hip bones pointed directly up to the ceiling. Move from that hip joint. We're trying to keep our trunk as still as we can. Pressing that leg forward. Maybe we nod the chin and curl that upper body up. That part is up to you. Switch those legs. Pull the other knee in and press that opposite leg forward. Pull and press. Let's keep repeating here. Pull and press for four, for three, for two, and for one. We're gonna keep that knee farthest from the screen nice and pulled into the chest as we lower the other leg to the floor. And let's lower that upper body down if it's been lifted. We're gonna straighten that leg up to the ceiling. The knee that's been pulled into the chest is gonna be extended now. Let's flex and point those toes. Maybe move them in little circles. Get a little wiggle to those connective tissues at that lower leg. Pointing those toes to the ceiling, we're gonna keep that belly drawn in. And if you find that you're really fighting your quad, that it's shaking really hard to keep that knee straight, soften it up a little bit. We'll press our hands into the mat, keep that pelvis nice and still as we take our lifted leg side to side. Feel free to lift up that other leg, hovering it slightly off the mat to challenge those abdominals a little bit further. And then maybe we move through some circles. Reach those toes to the ceiling. Let's circle the other way. Here's four, three, two, and one. Hold that top leg where it is. We're gonna lower the other leg to the mat. Grab on behind that lifted thigh. Flex and point again. Roll those shoulders back and down. We'll bend that knee to 90, keeping the hands behind it like a little sling. And let's bring our other knee up to meet it in tabletop. Switch along to the other thigh. Slide that leg we just stretched out along the mat and let's stretch up into our hamstring stretch on that newly lifted leg. Again, we can flex and point, try to keep those shoulders down and out of the ears. That's my downfall with some of this. I focus so hard on stretching my hamstrings so that those shoulders end up on my ears. Maybe we do a couple of little circles each direction. Let's point, hold it there. Again, decide if you need to bend that knee, softening it up a little bit. We'll take our hands to the mat and let's take that lifted leg side to side. Point those hip bones like headlights right up to the ceiling. Maybe we hover that other leg up off the mat. Let's move to circles, reach those toes up through your light fixtures. Pause and then let's circle the other way. Here's four, three, two, and one. Hold that leg up there. We're gonna hang on behind that thigh. Keep it right where it is. We're gonna keep that leg that's been on the floor or been hovered right where it is. Maybe we nod the chin and curl that upper body up a bit. Let's switch our legs. Single straight leg stretch. Lift and lower. It's fine to have a bit of a bend in the knee. It's even fine to have quite a bit of bend in the knee as long as they're staying the same amount of bend throughout this motion. Switch them up. Here's four, three, two, and one. We'll pull those knees into the chest, give them a hug. Let's curl that upper body down if it's been lifted and we'll look over one shoulder. We'll look over the other shoulder. Take it right back to the middle and let's roll our shoulders back and down as we bring those knees back up to tabletop position and we can take our arms up to the ceiling. Let's move through diagonal reaches. That arm closest to the screen comes back overhead as we stretch the opposite leg forward. Keep that trunk nice and still and switch to the other side. Let's keep moving through here at our own paces. That pelvis is staying nice and dialed in. Those hip bones are pointed directly to the ceiling. If you're noticing clicking in the hip or if it just doesn't feel good in your back, feel free to press that extended leg toward where the wall and ceiling meet versus point toward where the wall and the floor meet. That distance is up to you. We'll switch it up here for four, for three, last two, and one. Take those arms to the ceiling and the knees to tabletop. If you need a breather, hang on to those kneecaps. We can rock that body side to side. A little breather's never a bad thing. Coming back to the middle, let's flex our feet. With those arms up to the ceiling, we're gonna drop our blades down and that chin down and that belly button down. Let's take that foot closest to the screen and lower our heel, control it to the floor and lift it back up. 
opposite heel comes down and we lift it. Both heels come down if you can swing it, lift them both up. Let's repeat through in that same sequence. One comes down and up, the other comes down and up. We can continue with one or we can do both. Repeat that sequence again, down and up with one, down and up with the other, lower both down, lift them both up. Hold here, big breath in. Exhale, draw that belly down a little further. Now we're gonna open the arms back, take one or both heels forward. Inhale to the start and exhale, both heels or the opposite heel. If you just lowered one, come down, inhale and back up. Let's repeat, exhale away. Inhale and center, three more times. Exhale away, inhale and center. Here's two, bring them back up. Last one. Bring them back up. Let's pull those knees in. Give those hips a rest. Give those thighs a rest and rock that body side to side. Here's four, three, two, and one. Coming right back to the middle. Let's take those feet down to the mat. Arms come down by our sides. We can take a brief time, brief second here to rock those knees side to side. Massage out that lower back. And as we come back to the middle, we'll inch those heels a little closer to our bottoms and prepare for bridging. We're gonna widen those collarbones, pressing the shoulder blades into the floor and let's draw that belly back toward the spine. Press up into your bridge and press back down. Let's lift and lower at your own pace here. I want you to test the water, see how high you're comfortable lifting those hips. If you feel pain in your back, you have a couple of options. We could just not lift quite up as high. We could tuck that pelvis more toward our 12 o'clock position and maintain that tilt as we lift. Or we could press our heels a little closer to the bottom and press through the heels a little more firmly, lifting up those toes. Let's try two more with whatever position makes the best sense and works best for you. We'll hold that next one at the top. All right, let's rock those hips side to side. Take that hip closest to the screen and lower it. Lift it back up and lower the other side. Repeat through. Press those heels firmly into the floor. Keep that belly drawn in toward the spine as that belly button rotates toward the screen and away. Toward the screen and away. Bring those hips back to the center, big breath in. Exhale, we'll pulse those hips to the ceiling for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe it in, exhale, bridge it down, releasing the glutes at the bottom. And again, we'll rock those knees side to side. Good, big breath in, big breath out. One more time here, big breath in and exhale. Take them right back to the middle, breathe it in. On the exhale, we'll bridge up again, adjust those feet if you need to. And we're gonna go up and down on our toes. Keep those hips lifted as best you can. Lift to the toes, press those heels down. Lift, press, move through at your own pace. If you wanna challenge those glutes a little more, take those lats out of it. Those arms can come to the ceiling. Feel free to try bringing those hands down if you need a little support. Good, here's four. Here's three, two, and one. Press those heels to the floor, arc the arms forward to the mat, big breath in and exhale, bridging down. Releasing at the bottom. Let's rock those knees side to side. Here's four, three, two, and one. Take them right back to the middle. Our hands gonna go right to those hip bones. And let's slide our legs out as straight as we're comfortable getting them. Wiggle into that newly straightened position. If you feel strain on your back or if you feel like you really can't control that pelvis and it really wants to slide all the way forward, you can bend your knees up a bit. We're going to keep our hands right on those hip bones. Keep that belly drawn down to your spine. And let's walk our feet out. One leg comes up and down and then the other. You want to imagine something balanced between those two hip bones as we move. Maybe we take our arms to the ceiling if you feel like those hips are nice and square. Maybe we challenge it a little further by taking those arms back overhead. You wanna keep that mid back on the floor. So find that first point of resistance under those arms and we can pause right there. Maybe as we continue walking, that resistance point goes away. You're welcome to bring those arms back a little further. Lift those feet and lower them for four, three, two, and one. Feet come down, big breath in, stretch those arms overhead. As we exhale, our arms come up to the ceiling. We extend them down to the floor in front of us. Let's bend up those knees and we'll roll over two hands and knees. 
As always, if you need a little more padding, feel free to double that mat over. Or if you have a towel roll, you could place it under your shins. We'll make our way up to hands and knees. Let's hold here. Curl to cat, release to cow. Again, curl to cat, release to cow. Back to neutral. Let's squeeze our shoulder blades and then press them forward to the floor. Little scapular push-ups, squeeze and press. Squeeze and press. If you wanna make these more challenging, you could turn the balls of the feet under, press into those toes, maybe unweight those knees. See how that feels. It does put more pressure on those quads, makes those arms work a little harder. This is your choice. Here's three, two, one. Let's shift our weight side to side, pushing the floor away with your hands, whether those knees are unweighted or whether those knees are down. One more time to each side. Take it back to the middle, knees come down. We'll turn the tops of the feet to the floor and let's move into our stretched out diagonals. Leg closest to the screen comes back behind us and the opposite arm comes forward. Let's switch through at your own speed, focusing on keeping those shoulders, breastbones and pelvises facing the floor. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Take a breathing pattern that works for you. As long as you're not holding your breath, I am happy with how you're breathing. Let's hold that next diagonal. Maybe we switch hands. Hand comes down, stretch it over. Switch hands again. Again, switch and reach. Switch and reach. One more time to each side. Good, let's come back to all fours, switch those legs, opposite leg back, take the other arm forward overhead, find your position, switch, hand comes down, reach the opposite arm up. Maybe that means just coming up onto those fingertips. Switch and reach, switch and reach, keep it going. All right. Last time we'll find ourselves in that diagonal again. Hold that diagonal. Now we're gonna bend our elbow, bring it in toward our belly buttons and bring either knee in to meet it. Stretch them out to the diagonal again. Bend them in. Stretch them out. Bend them in. Stretch them out. Take that side down. We're back to all fours. Shake those wrists out a little bit if you need to. We'll switch to our other diagonal one more time. Leg and arm come away from each other. Bend the elbow and the knee toward each other. Stretch them away. Bend them in. Stretch them away. Bring them in. Twice more. Elbow to knee. One final time. Elbow to knee. Let's come back to hands and knees. Wag that tail side to side. Good. Let's take that. Feet together, take those knees apart. We're gonna lower the bottom down toward the heels and let's walk those hands forward toward the front of our mat. Drop that forehead, big breath in. Exhale, walk your hands towards your screen. We're gonna pause hand over hand as we take a big breath in. And exhale and let's walk them the other way. Hand over hand, big breath in. Breathing out, let's come right to the center. Good. Let's bring ourselves up into a long sitting position. Feet are gonna be forward. Heels are lined up with the bottom. We're sitting up nice and tall. That trunk and head and neck are nice and vertically aligned. Hands are behind the thighs like we're holding a beach ball. We're gonna roll our shoulders back and down, flex those feet, sending those toes up toward the ceiling. And with that belly drawn in, let's see if we can angle ourselves back to a little bit of a diagonal. Hands are supporting those thighs. We could even inch those heels a little closer to our bottoms. Let's hold it here as we flip our grip and place our hands to the outsides of those knees. We're gonna press our knees and our hands toward each other. Hold it right there. Let's open up that arm closest to the screen. Take it out to the side. Float that hand back to the knee. Opposite arm opens. Look over that shoulder. Float it back to the center. And let's alternate through here at your own pace. Following your hand with your head and also following that opening arm with your breastbone. Little trunk rotation, controlled trunk rotation. One more time to each side. Good, hang on to those shins. We'll pull ourselves up so we're vertically aligned again. Let's roll through a few seated cats and cows, curling from the pelvis and coming up tall. One more time, curling from the pelvis, coming up tall. Let's take our 
feet and we're gonna open up those legs to a narrow V, one heel at each of the outer edges of your mat. Staying up nice and tall is important here. So we're gonna be right up on the top of that pelvis. Maybe we don't straighten the knees out all the way if those hamstrings are real tight. If you'd like to straighten them out all the way, you're welcome to. We're gonna take our arms out in that same V that our legs are in. And with the belly drawn in, let's hinge forward from the hips, reach those fingertips out to the wall in front, deepening that stretch through the thighs. Come up nice and tall, big breath in, exhale and hinge. Again, inhale center, exhale hinge. One final time, inhale center, exhale hinge halfway, hold it there. Let's take our hands down to our legs wherever they end up. Feet, shins, knees, all appropriate, hold it here. Keep that belly drawn in. We're gonna walk our hands to the leg closest to our screen. Keep that breastbone in line with the foot as we open that other arm out to the side. Hands come back to the leg, switch it up again to the other side, or switch it up to the other side rather. Open the outer arm, hands come to the leg, walk the hands to the other leg, open the arm, big breath in, exhale, and we'll walk our hands back to that leg farthest from the screen one final time. Open up that arm for a big breath. Let's take them back to the center, come up nice and tall. We'll bring our feet together, shake those legs out. And we're gonna keep our hands back behind our bodies now. We have the option of the fingertips facing our feet or pointing out to the side. Either way, we're gonna straighten our elbows and squeeze those blades together. Let's bend up our knees, again, lining the heels up with those sit bones. And we can wiggle those knees side to side and inch that tailbone forward slightly. We wanna go only as far forward as we can, maintaining that straight elbow position and that squeeze through those shoulder blades. You should feel a nice stretch through the upper shoulders, upper arms, and through that chest. If you need to bring your hips a little closer to your bottom to your hips a little closer to your hands rather to take some slack off, that's fine. We're gonna hold here and breathe in. As you inhale, you should feel some expansion through your chest and rib cage. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale. Exhale, let it go. If you'd like to challenge yourself for the final two breaths in this position, we can press our heels down, unweight those glutes, maybe even lifting up toward that tabletop position where knees, hips, and shoulders are lined up with each other as best you can. Two breaths, big breath in. Exhale. One more time, big breath in. Exhale. All right. We're gonna take that bottom down, shake out those wrists, and we're gonna make our way up into a kneeling position. If you'd like to double up the side of the mat closest to the screen for more padding, you're welcome to do that. We'll come in nice and tall on our hips. We're gonna take our hands by our sides and flip those palms toward the screen. Squeeze your blades together, tuck that pelvis to 12 o'clock, shorten the pubic bone toward that breastbone. And we're gonna take those hands back to the wall behind us. Squeeze those pinkies toward each other and pulse. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big breath in, exhale. Let's take our hands to our hips and open one leg out to the side. We'll drop the hip down, feeling that inner thigh open up and let's hinge. We'll take our body forward and then hinge it up tall. Take it forward, hinge it up. As always move through a range that's feeling good for your body. Hinge, bring it up, arms out to the side, breathe it in and exhale side bend. Reach over toward that top corner and then side bend the other way. Two more here, side bend and reach. Take it up and over, belly stays drawn in. One more time, side bend, reach. Up and over, reverse. Let's come up nice and tall here, hands to the hips, switch it up. Opposite leg comes out, try not to tibble, tobble over like I just did. Drop that hip down and we'll hinge forward and take it up tall. Twice more, hinge it forward. Bring it up, one more time, hinge. Stand up tall on that chin, arms out to the side, another big breath in and exhale, side bend. Inhale up and over. Exhale and side bend. Take it up and over. One final time, side bend reach. Up and over. Let's come back to that kneel. We'll roll those shoulders back and down for three for two and for one. All right, let's make it our way down to our sides. We are on the home stretch here. We're gonna work those glutes, rest that upper body on that lower arm and let's bring those knees forward and line up our heels with our sit bones. So we're in a little bit bigger than a 90 degree angle at those hips. 
Lift that waistline up and keep that belly drawn down. We're gonna press our top hand into the floor and lift both knees, rotating that lower half of the body up and down. Move through at your own pace. I'm gonna shoot for about six of each of these. I've got one more. Knees come down, bottom knee presses into the floor. That top knee comes up and down for our clamshell. Lift that waistline up if you can. Sometimes keeping that hand on the belly keeps everything nice and stable. We'll do one more lift, lower it down. Let's lift those feet up off the floor. And again, we'll press that top knee up and down. Lifted foot clamshells. I have two more here. Knees come down and feet come down. Fire hydrant lifts. Press that top leg up and down. Bottom lower leg presses firmly into the mat. Should definitely be starting to feel that glute if it wasn't already there before. Let's pause at hip height with that top knee and hinge it forward to the shoulder, backward toward the wall. Hinge and press. Good. Here's three. My two, you can keep going at your own pace. I have one more. Top knee comes forward to line up with the bottom knee. We'll straighten that bottom leg out. Press that top foot into the bottom knee and we'll take that top leg up and down. I'm gonna bring my top hand down for a little more stability. A few more here. Last time, straighten out that top leg, take it up and down. Side of the ankle presses toward the ceiling. Good, here's three. My count is two. Here's one, leg comes to hip height, let's circle it. Let's circle it the other way. Let's hold that leg up there. Keep that top leg nice and still. Bottom leg comes up, bottom leg comes down. Lift and lower. Try to get that knee to connect to the top knee. Good, take them down, bend those knees up, pat that hip out, good job. All right, we'll press it up and over to our other side. One more side to go, then we'll finish up with some balancing. Again, on my count, I'm gonna do six of them. You're welcome to go faster or slower as you feel is appropriate for your body. Line the heels up with those sit bones. We'll draw that belly in and press our top hand into the floor. Lift those knees up and down. Try to keep that top shoulder away from the ears as best you can. Sometimes that's an easy position to default to. Lift, lower them down, bottom knee presses, top knee comes up and down for clamshells, lift that waistline up. Good, I've got three more. Good, last one. Knees come down, lift those feet. Again, we press that top knee up and down. Nice and smooth. I have one more. Knees and feet come down, bottom leg presses into the floor, top leg comes up in the fire hydrant lifts. Good, I've got three and two and one. Back to hip height, hinge the knee forward and back. Good, move out of that hip joint. Try to keep the rest of the body as still and stable as possible. Good, I've got three more here. And two, and one. Bring that leg in line with the bottom leg. Straighten out that bottom leg. We'll take our top toes, touch them down to that bottom knee. Top knee comes down and up. I've got six. Press that bottom leg into the floor for stability. Here's three, and two, and one. Stretch that top leg out, straighten it out in line with the body. Side of the ankle comes up and down. Lift that waistline a bit more if you can. Good, three more for me. Here's two, here's one. Hip height with that foot, circle it forward. Press the bottom leg down into the mat, circle that leg backward. I've got three and two and one. Top legs at hip height, keep it nice and still as that bottom leg comes up and down. Here's four, here's three, here's two and one. Let's bring them down, bend up those knees. Pat out that hip, good job. All right, let's turn to our backs. We're gonna line those heels up with our sit bones. Take those arms out about a 45 degree angle away from the body. 
And we'll take an inhale. Breathe it out, let those collarbones come away from the middle of the body. Drop those shoulder blades and that breastbone toward the floor. Let's rock our knees toward the screen, looking away. We'll take those knees and that head back to neutral and then we'll roll the knees away from the screen. Turn that head toward. Let's take it side to side at your own pace through a range that's comfortable. Should feel a little um, activation in those obliques, those side muscles in the front of your trunk. One more tip to the other side. Take it right back to the middle. We're gonna cross the leg closest to the screen over the other one, heel to knee. Maybe we draw that other knee up into our figure four stretch. Hold it there, big breath in. Exhale, keep a hold of that bented knee. We'll slide the other leg out along the mat and let's pull that gent knee gently across the body, that bent knee gently across the body. If I could speak, that would be wonderful. Rock it toward that screen. All right, we'll pull back to the middle. Hold it there. We're gonna bend up that knee that's been straight. We'll cross that opposite heel to the knee and draw that leg closest to the screen up into our figure four as best we can. Big breath in, exhale. Keeping a hold of that knee. We'll slide the other leg out straight and then gently pull that bent knee across the body away from that screen. Rock it there for four, for three, for two, and one. Take it to the middle. Let's pull both knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Exhaling, our feet and arms come down. We'll turn ourselves over. We're gonna make our way up to standing. I'm gonna finish my time on the mat with a few cats and a few cows. You're welcome to join or you're welcome to stand right up, whatever's easiest for you. Take it back to neutral, wag that tail side to side. All right, I'm gonna bring my hands in toward my knees, turn those feet under. Once your weight is over the front of those ankles and you're not already up, we can stand up nice and tall now. All right, face that screen. If you do need to find a wall or a chair or a countertop to hold onto, now's a great time for that. We'll line up our heels with our sit bones and get that weight settled right over the front of our ankle joints. Hold it there. Let's lift those toes up, spread them apart and take them down one at a time. Pressing the big toes down, we're gonna shift our weight toward the toes. And let's take them up and down, up to the toes, bring those heels down, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Just a couple more, twice more. Good, all right, shake those knees out. We're gonna stand heel to toe. One foot comes right in front of the other. Stand up as tall as you can, hold. Look side to side. And back to the center. Shift your weight to the back leg. Let's come up into single leg balance. We're gonna hold here. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Step down, shake those legs out. We'll stand heel to toe on the other side. Find that balance point. And if you wanna look over one shoulder and over the other, now is a great time for that. Take it back to the center. Shift the weight to the back leg. We'll come up into single leg balance and hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take that foot down, shake out those knees, settle the weight into those heels as we turn our toes out to the side. We can do a few hip circles. Let that trunk move. Switch it around. All right, come up nice and tall, soften up those knees. We'll finish the way we started. Inhale those arms up to that Y or high V, reach those fingertips to the ceiling. And with that belly drawn in, we're gonna take ourselves side to side, reaching one top corner of the room and then toward the other. Let's bring those feet together, arms up, inhale. Exhale into our center. Have an awesome Friday, guys. As always, it's nice to see you all. 